guys, I'm Genevieve Lyons, founder of Lyons Property Mentoring. Today I wanted to quickly run through the ins and outs of adding a granny flat to your investment. Quality renos can add great value to the home, however looking outside of those traditional options to something like a granny flat can lead to healthier ongoing results. Now, you don't need to be a property investor to opt for a granny flat, with the idea becoming more and more popular nowadays thanks to the financial freedom they can offer. Most people invest in, say, paint and carpets, landscaping, swimming pool, things like that when renovating. However, homeowners often overlook the humble little granny flat as a means of gaining real rental return for their primary residence or their investment property. They can often be overlooked, but they are a very lucrative option for both rental yield and overall property value when you have enough room to legally do so. Now, just to be difficult, it's different in every state, but laws in New South Wales have changed, making it easier to gain approval to build a granny flat. They come under the New South Wales Government's Affordable Housing Scheme, meaning many existing regulations that often put you off wanting to build now don't apply. General regulations dictate that there can only be one granny flat per property and must not exceed 60 square metres in New South Wales, Victoria or WA, and 70 square metres in Queensland. Before making any decisions, look into your local council guidelines, in particular around the proximity of the granny flat in relation to both the property and the boundary lines. Now, the best part, granny flats not only possess great benefits as far as rental yield, but the whole value of the asset will increase due to the yield of the combined investment property. Now, homeowners are also benefiting here with your backyard now making you money while you sleep. Before considering this or any investment, a what if scenario must always be completed along with your due diligence to see what rules and regulations apply. It also wouldn't hurt in this case to touch base with a local property manager regarding their demand for this kind of living arrangement. It is essential you know your facts and figures before you start. Just because you may be adding it to your own home does not mean you shouldn't be treating it like an investment. If you have any more questions or want to know more, comment below and let me know if you already use this strategy and how it's worked for you. Happy investing.